G'day, it's Craw here. Just doing another test on uh, Snetterton's farm, Farming Simulator 2017. I live in a very noisy environment here during the day, so trying to record anything with commentary is difficult. So I've picked one of the peak times during the day when the background noise is, uh, well, it gets a bit overwhelming really. So let's record this and uh, see how we go. I've just got another, uh, well a couple of jobs really, uh, but they're all in one area. So I'm going to teleport up there and uh, I'll see you there. Okay, so here I am up in my uh, little John Deere Gator. Just jump in the cab view, start the motor. And I've got a little bit more pallet work to do here, so let's uh, head up the road here. Ah, we'll just stop for a second and just have a look at the view. Actually, I'll stop the motor and I'll jump out again. We are by the river. Nice spot. But we've got things to do. And off we go. It's an interesting little area I've got set up up here. I have a bit better look around once I uh, park the vehicle. I think I'll take it down here. And I think we've got some room just in here. Yeah, that's, yeah, there's enough room there. Let's park there. Jump out. And let's see. Yep, that's looking finished. That's the uh, fish smokehouse. Red lights on, so that pallet's full at the side there. And down here we've got the uh, got my berries. Yep, and all the red lights are out there, so that needs to be done. And we'll head up here to the caviar production factory. They're ready to go, but I know that because uh, I'm just letting that sit for a while. Oh, and the fish farm, and that's ready to go as well. Okay, so let's just jump down here in our uh, tally handler, the lip here. Forgive my pronunciation, I'm, my German's not real good. So we'll jump in here, start the motor. I'll keep it in this view, it's a lot easier for pallet handling. And I think the first we will do is, we'll do the fish. Uh, let's head around here. Right. Okay, that's looking good. Slot in there. Beauty. Pick that up. Now, where am I going to put them? This is the, uh, it's going to be the first pallet of a new load, so I don't really need to stack them up here in preparation for transport. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll pop this one up in the shed here. going to be netting any pallets of cardboard for a while, so I think we'll just pop this one down here. Yep, that looks good. Now because we've cleared that one out, well, <coughs> excuse me, take some more fish down there. The 
this one's going to the caviar factory. So let's just pop this one around here. And this pallet of fish is going to go down to the smokehouse. And the smokehouse has already kicked back into gear, so I'll just pop this one in the storage for that. Great. And then last but not least, we'll do our berries. Hmm. It's lucky I'm a tree hugger or you'd be gone mate, you're in the way. Okay, let's pick that up, get it all nicely, yeah that looks good. We'll just slot in here, pick that up. Normally I'd uh, stack these in preparation for being transported, but uh, I think we'll just pop them into storage. Pull them all out when I'm ready to take them somewhere. you got to love them. Mm. Plenty of manure in stock, that's good. Good to Let's pop this in over here. And I think we'll just park up the telly handler. Give ourselves room, get out on the left hand side, do the usual. Make sure the blades are pretty well on the ground. Beauty. Stop the boater. Jump out. Let's take a quick look around. <coughs> Got the workshop. Water tower. Vehicle storage. Smokehouse consumes a lot of wood, so and we always like to replant the trees we cut down. Got the fish farm here. Looking good. As far as I know this is the latest version of the of the uh, fish farming mod. I hope so. The thing about this version is that it's a little bit more realistic than earlier versions on where you dump your grain and also where you put your water and this all supports, also supports hoses for the uh, Cocky Universal pack so that when you're dumping your water it looks like you're dumping your water 
shed. It's where I keep pallets and uh, cartons. This is storage for the fish farm. Haven't got anything in storage at the moment. As I said, caviar production. The reason I've just got it sitting there at the moment, we'll go and have a look at the info board. Takes four cartons of fish to produce one carton of caviar and fish meal. And yes, that's what that is. It is fish meal. This stuff around here, fish meal. A lot of people seem to struggle over what that is. Well, it's in bags, it's a dried product, it is fish meal. <laughs> but we won't go on about that. Washing station. May look as though it's a little bit cramped on the exit here, but it's not. There's plenty of room there. I can move trucks with trailers on them. Okay. So that's all looking good. Poop storage. Manure, poop, poo, whatever you want to call it, it's there. Hope I'm not scrolling around too quickly here. As I said, the berries. This area all works really well. Plenty of room. And of course, as I said before, this is the, uh, the smokehouse. It's incredibly noisy. I'll move away from it a bit more. <laughs> That's where the wood goes. It consumes a lot of wood. You'll be out chopping wood all the time if you're going to use the, uh, the fish smoker. Pallets filling up. It does have an information board here, but it's at the back. Right. And that's our, definitely our favourite auto-loading trailer. Fantastic bit of kit. Good work, the guys who put this together. Okay, and so that's about it. So I'm going to uh, stop this here and see how it all goes. Oh, we won't get too close to the smoker though. It's a bit noisy. We'll move around here and leave ourselves with a view of the berries. Yep, looking good. See you next time.